Imagine a world where your most imaginative ideas or fantastical visions could be realized visually in less than 60 seconds. Being able to create excellent images out of thin air would be nothing short of a miracle. Whether you want to create great art but can only draw stick figures or you need beautiful images for your business. With the help of the amazing tool known as Mid Journey, we will discuss and demonstrate that the miraculous is today, how it's taking place right now. You're going to be completely astounded as you learn what's possible. So imagine with us on episode number three of the Bad AI Show. Five, four, three, two, one. Who's bad? Hey guys, Joel Com and Travis right here with the original authentic intelligence to talk all about artificial intelligence. And we're going to get artsy fartsy today, aren't we, Travis? Well, I don't know. We shall see. What we're going to do today is talk about mid journey. You maybe have seen some of these really cool images out there and you're like, whoa, I can tell AI probably did that. But how does it do that? How so indeed. what we're going to do is going to show you some of the magic today so you can get started in the wonderful world of AI art. Yeah, the website is midjourney.com, just like you think it would be. And you can learn all about the team that is uh, creating this tool. They're an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species. Uh, in other words, the tool that they've released is badass and can make amazing art. Uh, it's currently in beta, but you can pay for premium services in the beta. And this is done using the Discord app. It is a bot that works on Discord. So if you're not on Discord, then this is a great reason to get started, um, to download Discord and to get set up with an account. You have to authorize the bot to be able to use the account. And, and I've already done this on mine, so I'm not going to log in here, but Travis is going to be able to pull up. But that's, that's actually a brand new account you just created, right? Uh, that was it. Yeah, that was a different. But that's important there. because when you're first starting, if you do not have the premium account, then you're going to actually be building images in a group chat thing. Right. Which is different than if you have the premium. So it's perfect that you have that open, Joel. We can actually showcase that from there. So why don't you go ahead and pull that back up again? Let me go back to that page and you can tell me about this amazing thing that you said I was doing when I sign in. Here we go. So, so, it's a brand new account. So yeah. click over on the click over on the left side where you see the people. The community showcase. This, yeah. this right here is spectacular. So all these images right here, and feel free to scroll down, are actually created with this particular tool. Now, look at that one right there with the glasses with the trees right there, Joel. Um, scroll up a little bit again. Yeah. Right there. Now That's roll funny. over that. Look at it. It says Let's forest right specs couture by subterfugitive right? right so basically this right here they've used this particular um this particular prompt to generate this particular image right that cartoon is pretty interesting how do they do that when, when you talk about prompt what that means is when you go into mid journey you type a simple command and then it says all right what is it you want to create and you put in a series of words and phrases that describe what you want. AI created everything that you're looking at here, and mm -hmm. it did it in most cases in less than 60 seconds. So that's what's mind blowing about this. And you could do this, right? You could try this out for free right now just by signing up in the beta. The paid service, which is what, $10 a month, gets 10 bucks or 30 bucks a month, gives you X amount of fast hours. The, plus you pay the ten dollars a month that gives you access to your own discord bot so i'm having my own private conversation in a direct message with mid journey bot and then what that allows me to do is i can see all of my images in one place but then also those images are they can show up on my public profile so they're not hidden there is a way to make your images hidden if that's important, but when you're just experimenting and trying to figure out what it's all about, not important to be all, you know, you know, hiding all your stuff. This is actually me logged in to my account here and you could see some of the things I've created. I create a lot of these images to go along with my blog at worldvillage.com. I was listening to Simon and Garfunkel <laughs> the other night and um, Paul Simon song 50 ways to leave your lover 
came on from the 70s. And I thought, oh, what would chat GPT say is 50 ways to leave your lover? And it came up with a list of 50 ways. And I went into mid journey and I said, uh, you know, make me an image of a man breaking up with his girlfriend. So you could see mm. it gave me these different images here. And uh, I did uh, Mona Lisa eating pie, uh, an oversized ah! Mona Lisa. <laughs> Dude, you know, these could be kind of funny for some bad crypto shorts. It's like, because we could come up with some off the wall funny ones. So we should come up with like five or six funny ones and make a couple shorts out of that to entertain the peoples. Look at that Star Wars. That's nice. Yeah. So uh, what I did here is I thought, well, what if Mid Journey just took, if I just put classic movie lines in, what would it do? So I put, may the force be with you. And it created these. And one of them, it actually, or two of them, it actually got the text right. Midjourney doesn't do text well yet. As you can see, it comes up with, you know, uh, words that aren't necessarily words. It's yeah. nonsense. This was, yeah, I'm going to make make him an offer he can't refuse. This was Toto. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. So I was. Oh, dude, I was look at that fun. one of Toto over there running down the freaking thing. That is beautiful with the with the rainbow and the stuff. Toto, that's nice. So go ahead and pull your Discord up and let's show people how this actually works because people are thinking I can't make images like this. It's so not intimidating once you understand, and then you can go deeper on this and become a master of the prompts. This is live right now. What you're seeing. This is going to yeah. be. Travis's Discord bot and it shows up. This is not my Discord bot. I'm actually in the main common room. So if you actually okay. you sign up for a free one, I think they give you 25 free images. They will put you in the mid journey Discord. And then once you approve it, you're going to see stuff like this. You're going to see, okay, announcements, blah, blah, blah. Newcomer rooms. So you're going to pick a newcomer room, right? So I'm in newcomer room, newbie room 161. I just sent in here. I'm going to type in, first of all, imagine. And you can see right here, it says, imagine prompt. So I'm going to hit that. And it's going to add the little prompt area. So now I can just say, two bad two podcasters. Bad yeah. Let's see what happens there. So other people are in this channel right now. And so that just is kind of booting mine. So that's why paying for it is actually a pretty good idea because you don't have to necessarily worry about that. But right. if you're just trying out, you're going to go into this base one right here. So now so I got to go up and try to find it. What it's doing right now is it's queuing up Travis's prompt to create. And you can see right there is where it is. It's creating it on the fly. See, now it's at 31%. And that's going to keep jumping 62%. It, this is rendering and building this right now. That guy down there looks like Bill Murray. Uh, the the third, number, number three. There's Edward the Snowden right. right there. Yeah. So... This is pulling. Now it should be done. When it's done, it'll show up at the very bottom. Look at but that one. Somebody just created Hulk emerging with Iron Man. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. How is this working, Travis? How is we're we're pulling up our image here? How does this work? You know, it's it's auto magic. You know, basically what they've done is they programmed all of these. Uh, computers with these visual inputs, right? This is that, this is this. And they programmed over time what things look like. So it's a visual recognition engine that is now taking those text terms and creating visuals for you based on what it thinks you're trying to get, what you want out of it, right? How would you describe so, it? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's an engine containing a database of millions and millions and millions of images and then the ai engine looks at it and goes all right how do i take the all the data i have and create this thing that i want okay so we don't have to scroll through other people's stuff let's demonstrate right here in your own bot this is some mm -hmm. of the artwork that you've created but let's yep. do one uh, let's do a new this one is the one where i did on ethereum so i'm actually going to type into my own search up here to see when I type stuff about Ethereum. So if you are part of the bad crypto, uh, bad media community there on Uncut, you will see that we've created some pretty cool images in the past that you we've distributed to people. So basically I went through, created a bunch of them. And look at this, this was my prompt. Imagine the invention of Ethereum cryptocurrency. Five co-founders created Ethereum to beat Bitcoin. Uh, extraordinarily imaginative. I want it to be steampunk, volumetric lighting, all of these terms, which I don't even know what some of these do, but 
I looked at that community page on Discord where other people were using pretty awesome words. And so that's where I will take my experimentation. I will look at really cool images that other people have created. What words did they use, Joel, to come up with those awesome images? And then I want to put my own spin on that so I can create something cool based on that kind of style, if that makes sense. It does. All right. So let me grab this for a moment because uh, Travis has a, a penchant for going super advanced. And I want to make sure that everybody understands this on a very simple level so that we're in my um, mid journey bot right here. And we're going to do the prompt. And Travis, right off the top of your head, what comes to mind? Uh, Superman um, uh, and Kryptonite. Something with Superman and Kryptonite. And Kryptonite. Okay, so that's we're going to keep it real simple. I'm not going to put any other commands in here. I'm just going to say, give me Superman and Kryptonite. Now, what you're about to see right here is something that's never been created just like this ever before in history. Mm -hmm. It is one of a kind. Actually, what you're going to see are four of a kind because Mid Journey gives you four options. And as you're looking at them, you number them um, across one, two, three. Three, four, just like that. Yep. So left, right, left, right. They're numbered one. And we'll two, see what this thinks four. because we actually misspelled kryptonite here. So AI might go, oh. wait a second. We think he meant kryptonite. I said but we'll see. kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah. So this is what it gave us based on my prompts. And we can look at these four images here and go, all right, which one of these four do I like the most? Which is the coolest? Frankly, I think this one right here, number three. Yeah, he looks kind of mad. Is looks super cool. badass. And so yeah. now you'll see two rows down here. U, one, two, three, and four, and V, one, two, three, and four. What you want to do when you want to see more variations on the one that you just created is pick the V row. So in this case, one, two, three, V3. So we're going to click V3. And what it's going to do is it's going to say, all right, let me give you four more variations based on what I've already created here with image three. And I love it's so cool to me how you can see the AI thinking and going, all right, I think this is kind of the, the skeleton of this. I'm going to I'm going to make it a little more detail and I'm going to shade it in. I'm going to add the details and boom, there we go. We have four variations of this. Uh, you can see there's some weird stuff happening on his face. His eyes are redder here. Um, I like number two the most. And this is where the column one comes in. This is where you're saying, okay, I want to use that one. I want no, you I to wanna upscale it. Yeah. You're going to upscale, upscale it or it. use it or upscale it. Yeah. Yep. So you're right. It's upscaling. So now it's going to upscale image number two for us. And it's going to give me a final image, which by the way, when that's done, I can simply right click save as and there's no copyright on this stuff, gang, because this image was not created by a human being. This image has never been created before. This is one of kind. If you were to type in this very same prompt, what are the odds that it would create the same image again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not even, you know, what's so fun is a lot of times what I'll do, and you can do this as well, Joel, scroll up again to the one where we had the four different ones. I'm going to, while it's, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spell it right. Kryptonite. Did I spell that right? Okay. Yeah, put it in Superman in green kryptonite, maybe. In green kryptonite. We're, you can actually have several processes going at one time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're looking at this one now. Is this what did you yeah. want to see? Now, see, see the little, see the little swirl, the circle by U4, U4 yep. right there. That's like a remix button. If you click that, what it does is it goes in and tries to find, create four new images of that particular one. So a lot of times what I'll do guys is I will type in something, create something, and then I'll say, I'll wait till that one's done. And then I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll hit that button a few times. So then it's gonna give me a bunch of four different image sets, right? So if I click it seven times, it's gonna give me 28 different images to choose from. So now we, what, did we just get a green Superman? Is that what happened? There we go now, yep, Superman in green kryptonite there, look, look how badass that one is right there number four wow he's he like, like hulk smash yeah it. he's kind of he's kind of like hulk, uh, hulk smash a bitch now let, let's uh let's get a little more advanced on this trev because you taught me some things that you can do in fact you came up with a great prompt that I'm going to actually just copy and paste into this here and we'll put in our show notes, but this is just one of many. Oh, I need well, to that's put... not a prompt that actually works in oh. mid journey. That's a prompt right, right. that actually works 
in chat GPT to generate cool prompt ideas. Or I can go here prompt. What is the subject of the image? Well, I can say it is a uh, Rick, old man, Rick Sanchez of okay. Rick and Morty in the right. style of mm, uh, the Simpsons. How about, oh, the Simpsons. Yep. The Simpsons. And then let's come up with five adjectives for him. Weird. Huh? Weird. Uh, uh, magical. Magical. Happy. Strange. Okay. Uh -huh. And then over, what's he doing? Um, He's stepping into a time machine. Stepping. Stepping into, into a time machine that's in the bushes. In the bushes. Okay. So this is our prompt right here uh, uh -huh. using what? Because I thought when you gave me that mid journey prompt that I could just plug that in and look, I did. I just plugged in. Meanwhile, while it's starting that one, check out my Superman and green kryptonite finals. Ooh, it kind of looks like he's in he's in green kryptonite actually. Yeah. Like he's in. It does look like he's frozen. Yeah. See, you know, you don't know exactly what. You, okay, here comes here comes our Rick Sanchez in the style of the Simpsons. Weird, magical, happy, strange. Stepping into a time machine in the bushes. We're ninety three percent done. It's about to put the finishing touches on this <laughs> render, and there it is. Look. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this one right here that's so good that, that one looks right like there. lisa or the baby whatever the maggie <laughs> it does it looks like rick <laughs> sanchez had a baby with the baby that's <laughs> that's where in fact i like that one so much i'm just going to uh, upscale make it. that your avatar everywhere we're going to use that so this yeah. is how easy it is to use mid journey and create amazing artwork and it again mm -hmm. if you'll look at our websites and i'm going to go ahead and pull both of those up so uh so people can see um you know travis's site ai telegraph.io where he's covering the cool things that he's doing with ai these all these images on here you created all these with mid journey right yep created all of them with mid journey playing around with it and uh you know so this one's this one is really my ai experiments when i'm learning and i'm playing around and just kind of some of them are you know songs from the the create crazy beatles ai album that i'm working on some of them i'm just I find something that's interesting and uh, I have spent time recently working on the badmedia.io site and some other stuff. So I do need to go in and uh, add some additional information. I'll, I'll pull that up in a second. So for example, I told chat GPT to write me an article on 10 ways for artists to make money with mid journey. But then I went into mid journey. I say, uh, paint me, you know, give me an image of an artist painting uh, with, maybe high tech surroundings or something like that. And this is an image. I mean, it looks like a real dude. This is an image that mid journey kicked out. And I use that on the website. And of course, if you listen to episode number two about chat GPT, you know that you need to take your text that chat GPT gives you and put it through Quillbot So it'll rewrite it so that it doesn't appear to be created by AI. And so I'm using um, I'm using mid journey every time I need an image, whereas before Trav, um, if we would have, you know, hired somebody even on Fiverr to create an image, you're going to take at least 24 hours. And to get something that looks that amazingly professional, um, you're going to you're going to pay quite a bit. Yep. And if you recall, you know, in episode two, where we talked about chat GPT, um, well, that prompt that I just gave Joel, I can basically go into chat GPT and say, Hey, chat, here is a mid journey prompt formula. And I say, give me a subject of an image and the style of a name of a cartoon, five adjectives, verbs that the subject is doing. And then I got to tell it, do you understand? Cause I want to make sure it understands. And it says, yes, I do understand. And so I say, okay, boom. And then I can say, give me, you know, give me five prompts that are that, that I can use in mid journey and then it will generate that. So I'm going to type that in. Give me five prompt examples then. By the way, Trav, while you're doing that, you suggested to me that I say in the style of Pixar. And so I did right. that. I, I I uploaded render full body man in three day 3d Pixar style. Oh, that reminds me, this is super important and we need to pull this up on mid journey. Yeah. Let me grab the app again because what you can actually do here is give it a starting point with an image. So mm -hmm. I'm going to jump into my Dropbox and I'm going to find an image from the Bad Crypto Podcast folder. 
that is me and Travis. Okay, there we go right now. So then I'm going to I'm just going to upload that image. All right, Trav, now give me a prompt. Okay, you want a prompt? Should I tape it, type it to you in? Um... No, just just tell me. Just dictate to me. Well, let me see the image. I'm not looking at that image right now. Let oh, it's see. right up here on the screen. Oh, that one right there? You and me. Um, two dudes talking crypto. Two dudes talking crypto. In That's actually the very first photo you and I ever took together. Eating pizza. Okay? okay. And so I'm typing there. Now what you do is you click on the image and you drag it into the prompt. See? So it's saying, okay, there's the prompt. Oh, but do I've it never done that. With this image. There's so, another way to do it, too, is you can right click on it. Copy image location is what it'll say. And then uh, you paste that in there too. But I like that one you just did. That's way easier. Okay. So it's uh, it's going to do two dudes talking crypto in space eating pizza based on this image. So you can give it a starting point to work with, you know, if you want to make um, uh, <clears throat> versions, you know, that include yourself, like I did yeah. here with the, uh, well, so while it's doing that, let me show you. Let me this. show you the one that I just did, Joel. Okay, go ahead. Pull it up. So, so what I did was I told, I, I just typed that in the chat GPT, right? So let me show you what I did in chat GPT first and foremost. So right in here, I basically said, you know, uh, what, what Joel just typed in here are mid journey prompt formulas, subject of image, name of cartoon, blah, blah. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. And it says, it's going to do this. Yep. And so I said, give me five prompt examples. Boom. Elephant in the style of SpongeBob SquarePants, playful, <laughs> colorful, bouncy, mischievous, and jumping sunflower in the style of adventure time, right? <laughs> Tiger in the style of the Simpsons castle, in the style of my little pony. Right. Get and I just did this one guitar in the style of Rick and Morty, wacky sci fi, absurd, mind bending, shredding. So let me go over to my mid journey to see what just happened. And here it is the wow. guitar in the style look, of Rick oh and Morty. My gosh, look at the number four with the huge mouth right down there. That's amazing. Look at Dude, wait, put it back up again. Let me see that again for a second. That was amazing. Like, <laughs> to be able to go in and create this kind of art, this is why, you know, we were saying that unless you are on the high end as an artist, okay, if you're just a regular artist, if you're somewhere below that top 10%, it you have to learn how to use this now to sell your art because if we can go in and create amazing looking art like this and and i am not an artist at all i can barely draw a stick figure i'll bet that chat that mid journey can create a far superior stick figure than me then how are people going to make money like fiverr artists i don't know how uh how they're well, what you got to do is, as joel's mentioning ai i would look at ai as how do i augment it into my workflow, right? It's artificial intelligence, but I need to augment it into my workflow. Look at us. There We're you go. Two pizza, dudes baby. talking crypto in space, uh, eating pizza. There we are. Dude, Mid they journey. both kind of look like me now. Actually. Yeah, they do. They're, well, the the one, the uh, you know, he's wearing the glasses. So that one doesn't look as much like you. This one does more like me. But like, you know, he, this guy here, that's definitely more you. So, and so what's funny is you find one and then you go, you know what? That didn't work. So go, go ahead and click that remix image two or three times. Pop, 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 pop. And so it's going to create new ones. And so that's a lot of times what we're doing, guys, is we're creating really cool, fun things with the AI, the bad AI show and the nifty club, the bad media NFT club. We've created a bunch of cool things that are relevant based on what we're talking about in particular episodes. And we're like to drop cool NFTs. So we're keeping it fun. We, we are basically delivering the light wherever we can and, and having fun creating this stuff. Like this image behind me, I actually made the image in mid-journey and then put that image that I made in mid-journey into another tool that then made this. And we'll talk about that on another episode. I think that that deserves a whole other episode. And we are coming up and discovering these new tools all the time. You want yeah. to subscribe to this podcast. If you're listening to it, please subscribe. Reviews are coming in. They're all five stars so far. And we appreciate that. Um, and if you're on YouTube, Rumble or Odyssey, make sure you click subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of these. And also, yeah. this is your last chance. If you have not yet filled out 
out the form at badai.show forward slash NFT. This is your last chance to claim the mm-hmm. free founders uh, pass NFT. It looks like this created with uh, with AI and with the help of our resident artist, uh, Alex who creates this cool spinny portal. The NFT is the full card and we want you guys to have this, but you have to fill out this form. We're going to, when it closes off, you can't get in anymore. We're not going to drop it. So they're going to be very, very mm-hmm. limited. And Bad that'll open AI. you up to get other cool stuff, particular to the show. Right. Now, you know, Joel, our very first, one of the very first NFTs that we dropped was corn man. Yeah. In, in September. Yeah. Of last year that I made that on mid journey. That was like mid journey two or something when it came out. So I've been playing with, with AI on mid journey for a little over six months. Now we've been gaining information about it. And as AI just gained more proliferation around the space and excitement around it, Joel and I just decided that we needed to come in and create a specific bad AI show. Yeah, so the um, if you're not yet a member of the bad media community, then you want to go to badcrypto.uncut.fm and you want to grab the membership NFT um, that looks like this right here. It's it's only three dollars and fifty cents, or it's point zero zero two ETH. It's cheap because we want people to pay something so the bots don't take them. But you can go grab one of these. That's going to get you free airdrops, including this one, uh, the first one we dropped to people, Captain Corn. If you don't know why corn, then you haven't listened to the Bad Crypto podcast before. But you might yeah. wonder to yourself, when did I eat corn? Yeah, and seventy three of a hundred of those have been claimed, and we got a special. I had a special idea that I worked on something today. Um, so once those are 100 have been claimed, and if you have the membership already, you should go claim it if you haven't. Go claim it. Once all 100 of those are done, every one of those 100 who have Corn Man is going to get a special animated Corn Man. Animated Corn. Which is really creepy, actually, but it's hilarious. <laughs> who doesn't want that? Thanks again for listening, subscribing, and tell a friend that the Bad AI Show is in town. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay bad. Oh, 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 oh,